All right, welcome back to White House Farm. If you watched our previous video on replacing the coil packs and spark plugs, you'll see that when we pulled out one of the uh, coil packs, it was just, there was a whole bunch of oil in there. And it was on our number two cylinder here. Uh, and that's the reason why it was misfiring. And we got the check engine light and all that. Uh, so today, we're going to be replacing the valve cover on this. And we got our brand new one here. And this was only 40 bucks on Amazon. I'll go ahead and leave a link in the description. Comes with the gasket. Uh, you do have to get some uh, gasket maker. Uh, that's actually the Nissan gasket maker, which is really good. Uh, I, I like that stuff, and it, you can use it right away. Um, it's used on the oil pan, the transmission pan, all that good stuff. Uh, so we'll be using that to seal up the corners here when we take this valve cover off. Okay, so the first thing as usual, we'll go ahead and disconnect our negative here. It's a 10 mil. Just remove the resonator. Uh, you have bolt here, and then you have this one back here. So we'll go ahead and take them off right now. And you gotta disconnect your hose here. And we can actually take this vacuum hose right off. Now we're gonna go ahead and take the bolts off our coil packs here. And this is 10 mil for all this. Gives us a little bit of room to go ahead and pull the connections off and you just press down and pull and remember this was the only one that had oil in it so that's that's the one that was leaking there kind of anxious to see after the past couple days if uh, any oil got in there And I don't see any oil. Now we can remove our two grounding wires here. And these are all 10 mil. And we'll also clean them up when we go ahead and put them back on. So now there's a little clip back here on this wire. Go ahead and squeeze it with some pliers. We'll pull that out. And we can also take this off right now. And then we'll go ahead and start unclipping the wiring harness here. Get that out of the way. There we go. This bracket here. right back in there pop out there we go Get this other one over here And then we got one more right here. That just pops up. And 
then we got this one right underneath here. There we go. Now we got these three bolts right here. We'll go ahead and remove them. That way we can get this up back out of the way. Up out of the way. Now we can go ahead and get our PCV hose off here. You got two clamps right on each side there. Just pull right off. Set that up there. All right, since we won't be able to get to that bolt there, we're going to have to take the four bolts off the throttle body. So we'll have to take the hose off here, this one right here, this one right here, and we'll loosen those up, pull that off, and take those four bolts out to slide this over so we'll have access to that bolt. There we go. Comes right off. And we'll hit these four with a little PB blast. And it's going to be a number five for the throttle body. The bottom one's kind of hidden down there. But we got that in now. All right, and this is also a good time to inspect the throttle body. We can go ahead and clean that out as well before we go throwing it all back together. Now we have access to that valve cover bolt. Let's go ahead and disconnect these four wires and pop out the wire holders here. Next thing we want to do, we want to go ahead and we're going to put a piece of wood on our jack here and we're going to put the jack right under our oil pan to go ahead and support the engine because uh, once we take off that mounting bracket there or the engine mount, it's going to drop down. So we want to make sure that we have this under there. So let's go ahead and get some PB blast on this bolt here. That way we can go ahead and move our AC line out of the way and we're going to take these four bolts out here. So let's go ahead and a little better well that that one bolt there and then these two bolts here and then we'll go ahead and take these top four off all right so it's gonna be 16 mil for the bolts down here for these three And then these are also 16 mil.
And these are two small bolts in the back and on the side here. And then these are going to be your long ones. You can see the engine drop. We got it supported though. Now we need a 14 mil for here, here, back here, and right there. Another long one. Shorter one in the back. And now we got to get that one. Before we get that last bolt out here, let's go ahead and get this AC line disconnected here. See if we get this to turn out. There we go. move the AC line and we'll pop out the other bracket. Oh, look at that. I don't know why that wasn't budging, but finally got it. Should be able to scoot this thing out of here. One more bolt there we got to remove. There we go. Move the oil cap. Hopefully that'll give us enough room to get this bolt out. Yep, and it did. Throw the oil cap back on there for now so we don't get junk down there. Now I can get to the last two the bracket and the plug back through here. Take them out so I can remove this so we have full access to the valve cover. There we go. Now, there we go. Perfect. Now we can bungee this up out of the way. Whew. 
all that to get to that valve cover. All right, let's go ahead and hit the sides and stuff here with some air, get some PB blast on these, and then we'll go ahead and take them off. All right, so we have five valve cover bolts here, five valve cover bolts on the back, and then one, you actually have to go down through the hole here to get it, and then another one over here. So 12 total. Let's go ahead and get them off. These are all 10 mil. All This might be on there pretty good, so you might have to give it whack with rubber hammer or try and pop up the front. Just be careful while doing that because you don't want to put gouges in here because then it will leak oil. There it goes. stuck on there all right so there's the number two and I mean you could see I mean it definitely was full of oil right through in there where these other ones are dry so it's definitely leaking somewhere in there through that boot or that seal so yeah eventually the rest of these would probably start leaking and it would just be you know a big mess so probably good that we're just replacing the whole thing and we got the new gasket of the new gasket and four new coil gaskets there. Now we need to go ahead and clean up all around here and get all the RTV off the corners to put some fresh RTV on. And then we can start reassembling this thing. So we got all the RTV off the sides and everything. Got to clean up as much with the razor as possible without, you know, digging into it, you know, because this is aluminum. You don't want to dig that up, then you will have leaks going on. Uh, we're going to go ahead and use our little uh, sander tool here, get the rest of the edges here, and then we'll be able to start throwing this all back together. All right, so now we're gonna put some sealant right in all of the corners, and we're actually running a bead coming up to the sides here as well. So all four corners, and then up the sides. So we got RTV in all four corners, and we ran a bead up to the middle there. So let's go ahead and throw our valve cover on. And we're gonna put a little slide glide in here to help seat this down.
See, and that helps it the boots slide right over there. Let's go ahead and start putting our valve cover screws back in. Now we can go ahead and start snugging them down, and then we're going to torque them to 64 uh, inch pounds. So now we can go ahead and plug these terminals back in, but we're going to spray them out with some electric cleaner before we go ahead and do that. Okay, so we got all four of those plugged back in. Alright, go ahead and put our mount back in. And we're just going to start putting the bolts in uh, loosely. All the mounting brackets are all tightened up. Go ahead and release our jack. Go ahead and put our screw back in here and attach our bracket. And we'll put some never sees on that since that was rusty. All right, we'll clean up these negative terminal terminals too. And we could plug our wire back in here. Here. And we'll reattach our negatives. All right, we can reattach our PCV valve here. Just gonna slip on there. Under here. Put our little grommet back in here. Go ahead and reattach this. Reattach this. There we go. And the throttle body out pretty good. That was really gummed up, gummed up.
Let's go ahead and reattach the throttle body holes here. Alright, we got everything all buttoned up there. Got the throttle body back together there, cleaned out. Let's go ahead, we can start throwing our coil packs back in here. And we'll torque these down to 74 inch pounds. We go ahead and get our bracket back on here. All right, let's reattach our vacuum line. And we'll get our resonator on. All right, let's go ahead and get our oil cap off of here. Take that out now, put that on. And we are all hooked back together, all bolted down, mounts. Last thing to do is reconnect the battery. So a lot of work just to get to that valve cover, but now we shouldn't have to worry about it for a long time. Let's go ahead and start her up and see how she does. Don't see any leaking. Let's go ahead and take it for a drive and come back and check her out. Let it get warmed up. All right, driving nice. So the only thing we gotta do is just drive this thing around, get it nice and warmed up, and then we'll head back and uh, see if we might have any leaks or anything. Hopefully not, because you see what a pain that is to take apart. So. All right, we'll see you back at the shed. All right, so we're back, and we went for a nice long drive. Gotta go pick up some stuff anyways. Nice 45 plus driving there and back, and no leaks. No leaking. Kinda hard to tell back here, but. No leaks. Alright, so... Alright, so we're all set here. So there you go. Make sure to watch the coil pack and spark plug. You can see the reason why I did this valve cover and all the other videos on this. But we're all set here, so once again we hope you like, enjoy, subscribe, and as usual, we'll see you can't say goodbye without saying goodbye to me. All right, Olaf. We'll see you on the next one. All right. Bye, Obo. Bye, guys.